Can't complain, right guys? Feels good after having all that rain and all that hot sun. Moving to our next location. It's a bit sketchier. Pufferfish, pufferfish, pufferfish. Did it. Two fish at once. This is one for a fish tank. Bunch oh of Dude, that thing is weird looking. Oh my goodness. What's going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video here. We're back at the aquarium shop, and today I have something to run by Andy. Andy's the store owner here, and I'm thinking, I want to go catch colorful fish out of the ocean. It's beautiful. This place we're about to go to is beautiful. And I want to get fish to bring back to the store to then where he could actually give them to people that have in their aquariums. I think that's just a super cool idea, and I've never done it. I've done almost everything I could possibly think of. Not that I'm running out of ideas, you just get what I'm saying. I've done so much, and I feel like I don't know how I haven't thought of this earlier. So we're gonna head in the shop, approach Andy with this idea, this genius idea. I don't know how I haven't thought of it, and see what uh, he's got to say. What fish could I catch that's legal in the wild and then bring here for the nothing legal got it not even like a sergeant major to give to a pet shop you can catch you have to have a license well no you can catch there for your aquarium yeah you can catch angelfish sergeant major but it's illegal for you to bring them in here and give them to me or me to sell them got it all right <sighs> okay so that was the change of plans andy's actually not allowed to legally take fish that we catch in the wild to then sell to customers. So uh, the game plan is to now just go to the bridge. I've been here before and we slayed the colorful fish. If you remember, the reef fish are all over the place. We're gonna get some shrimp, we're gonna do a big taco shop, do that. Then go catch these colorful fish. I mean, they're all sorts of fish. Yeah! <laughs> that was a little weird, right? <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that again. All right, let's go catch some fish. <laughs> Got our stuff from the bait and tackle shop. We had to run by the bait and tackle shop and grab hooks, small little tiny gold hooks, and as well as shrimp. Now we're gonna use this stuff to catch colorful fish. Let's see our reel. So we got the zip code 2020 Yes. Um, push button. Push button, baby. Yeah. We're doing it big today. We're at uh, Sawfish Bay Park, and uh, we're about to catch some colorful reef fish. Got our shrimp. Shrimp is literally blue. You know they're fresh when they're blue. And then these are size 12, little golden hooks. Just trying to show you guys what I'm using. So if you want to come here and do the same thing I'm doing, it's really fun. I've done it before. Slay them every time. And then this is my epic fishing reel for today's video. Tying a hook on. So tiny, dude. Like my hand barely could tie the knot for it. Look at that. What do you think the first fish we're going to catch is? Uh. You want me to be completely honest? Mangrove snapper. Yeah? And then we just pop a piece of meat. We only want the meat of the shrimp. First cast. Can you see it? Look. Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major. Heck yeah, baby. These things are beautiful, and this is what I wanted to bring Andy, but I guess he's not allowed to take it. But if we have our own aquarium, when we do get our own aquarium, the saltwater aquarium, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna catch these for our tank. There's smaller ones than this. Beautiful. Oh, it's pooping all over me. Look at no. Ugh. But beautiful, beautiful fish. See the stripes on it? So pretty. Clean poop everywhere, man. First fish. Oh yeah, left a nice chunk of you know what on my hand. Moving to our next location. It's a bit sketchier. We're going down here. Let's see what we got lurking beneath these dark waters. It's outgoing tide, I believe. Yeah, it is. Look how dirty this water is. Got a fish. Another Sergeant Major, bro. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. They always poop, dude. What is with that? Look at him. He's pooping again. For defense. Look at that blue, though. That's pretty. We got any? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Let's put him back. See ya, bud. There he goes. Oh, there's some cool fish up in here, dude. Bro, oh my god, this lighting would be insane. Oh, mangrove. Well, mangrove. Oh, mangrove. And I still got my shrimp. So this is a mangrove snapper. First mangrove of today. He's so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Woo! Look. 
Still got my shrimp. Oh, Rass! No! It ate it all. All right. Cast number four. I want the rats. He's in there somewhere. Not that mangrove again. We're literally picking through him. No, not the mangrove. Big sergeant mate. Big sergeant mate. And this one's more yellow. The other ones we'll be catching are like blue and black. See that one? Don't you think it'd be cool to have like, you almost fell in? Oh. Dude. It would be cool to have like 15 of these things inside a tank, like a fish tank. Yeah. Swimming in a school. Cause there are that. schooling That's fish. Pretty. So pretty. Whee. Can we catch something different though? I mean, I can, I'm not even kidding you. Three seconds, this will be eaten by a sergeant major. Watch this, ready? One, two, three. Shark comes up. This is one for a fish tank. It's not legal size, so you can't, but I mean, look at the size of that mangrove snapper. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. So let's get a count now on how many yeah, sergeant how, majors. How many is this now? Comment down below. Comment, yeah, yeah. Let, let us know how many of this is. I still got my shrimp back. Yoinked it right out of his mouth. See you later, bud. Another sergeant major. Pufferfish, pufferfish, pufferfish. Are you kidding? Oh no, he's on it. And we got him, boy. Said hook. Hey! No! Oh, bud. Come on. That was a toad fish. They call them toad puffers. They're actually poisonous. You have to, like, when you eat them, you. To... Oh my god! You cut me off. <laughs> you better eat too long. I'm gonna get him next time. Since we've broken off, what are the chances that we make a hook up here and then a hook down here and catch two fish at once? Yeah, I say yes. Let's do it. Yeah. We got a little needle fish, baby. <laughs> we got cuties. It's like a little baby. Oh this my is god. the smallest one I've ever seen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, look at these little teeth. Okay, so if you look right there, you got little teeth. Oh Bunch my gosh, of little teeth. dude, that thing is weird looking. But it looks like a little needle, right? Yeah. That's where they get the name, needlefish. Here it goes. New species. Oh, it's called the spot, as you can tell. That's where it gets its name from the little spot on this tail. Oh. Not doing a great job of releasing today, but they're surviving, I promise. Two hooks, two pieces of shrimp. I'm gonna try to catch two fish at one time. Oh, rats, rats. Got him. No way. Yep. Yeah. Oh, more. Wait, let me see what kind of that is. And a mangrove. Wait, bro, let's see. Did it. Two fish at once. A little mangrove and some sort of really cool rat. This is the same one that ate me before and I missed it. Look at the teeth on him. See it? Mm hmm. Dude, that is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Pop the hook out. Oh, ooh, he's slimy, dude. Yeah. Very slimy. That one's pretty. Very pretty. So that'd be the one to put in the fish tank if I had a tank. Now that that one's back in, mangrove. That's it. We're done for today. Super easy technique though. Small golden hook, some shrimp, catching colorful reef fish. Once I do get my saltwater tank, 100% coming back here and getting fish for it. Uh, I think that'd be an awesome video, don't you think? Yeah. I think it'd be sick. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should do more of this kind of stuff and if you want to see them go into my fish tank once I do have that ready. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and I'll see you at the farm. And as we leave, new species. I believe it's like a little dog snapper or something like that. Cute. Let's go home. Ooh, baby. It is uh beautiful out. It's like 73 degrees outside right now. I'm in absolute heaven and I'm just coming to chill with the animals honestly because on a beautiful day like this, I'll sit out here all day. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. It is breezy. Holy. You know what that means. Cold front coming in hot. I can't wait till it's like 50 degrees here if it ever does ever get like that again, but I can't wait till it's cold. Update on the blue heron issue. Um, yeah, the blue heron is still coming to the pond. As you can see, we have nothing but tilapia left and a couple Midas cichlids. See, just a bunch of tilapia and our Midas cichlids right there. Oh, and our Wells catfish. If you follow my Instagram at the Cafaro Animals, I just posted a video of the Wells came out when we fed this morning. 
He stays in that hole right, right there, literally that hole right there, and it's so much bigger. I have an albino whales catfish in that pond. Boots, the escaped artist. Just for Boots not to be able to get out, I had to stack all this stuff on top of his cage. I put the ladder there and this. Then he jumps through the hole and the ladder gets out. So I had to put the skimboard there. Then he knocked the skimboard off onto the ground. Then jumped through the ladder. So I had to put this box on top of the skimboard. All right, we gotta get Boots out, let him eat, drink a little bit, let him roam around, and then uh, put him back in. Tomorrow at 12 noon, he has his appointment to see how his foot goes. So that'll be in my next video. Stay tuned, Boots. <laughs> As you can see, Boots is over there. I let him just roam around the yard. He's in there with the pigs right now, just walking around. It's dry out now, it hasn't rained in a couple days. I hit up Bradley to do the other side of the yard where we need to get done while it's not raining, and he said he's on vacation, but he's coming back. And once he gets back, we'll get started on that, so that pond will hopefully get done soon. It's looking good over there, though. Everyone's enjoying this beautiful weather. As you can see, Lady May and Mango are both out just hanging out. Here's Boots. Hey, Boots. All the goats are over there. I mean, everyone's enjoying this though. Can't complain, right guys? Feels good after having all that rain and all that hot sun. I hope it doesn't get hot, which is very possible for Florida to do. It can get cold for one day and then it'll be 150 degrees the next day. So it's really, I'm gonna chew my shorts. <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys on all the animals. Everything's doing good. The hogs, the ducks, and everything's over there. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I know it's a little different. I like to switch it up every once in a while. Catching colorful fish is always a blast. And when we get our saltwater tank set up, this tank that I'm about to show you will be saltwater very shortly. Bam! Right here. This little play balls in there, but look at that. That will be saltwater in the wall eventually. 160 gallons coming soon. If you have not done so already, subscribe. Subscribe down below. Join the family. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my vlog channel, just posted another video there. I've been posting on it consistently. It's just different content than what we post here with the animals. It's literally just random stuff that I like to film and I just throw it up on that channel. That channel is also linked below. We just posted 10 things Polk Fro can't live without. It came out so good. I'll roll a quick clip from it right now. Highly suggest it to go to thing. Ladies love it. A fishing rod. Fellas, I used to make fishing videos. I started my YouTube channel making fishing videos. I still fish all the time, just don't really film it. If you think I should film it more often, you can let me know down below. I have multiple of them, obviously. Uh, this is a baitcaster to be specific, a Concept TX. Remember those days, brother? Ah, good old days. We used to make a bunch of videos fishing. Gotta get back into that, but beautiful rod custom made rod to match the reel. I used to just do that kind of stuff to snap just a little extra hard. Go watch what my 10 essentials are. You'd be blown away. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Chunka you know what on my hand you not <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs>